All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are our Chicago's food bank. The Greater Chicago Food Depository distributes food to a network of more than 700 food pantries, shelters, and soup kitchens. And what we do is we provide food to those network partners so that they can get uh, food out to our neighbors. Man Yi Lee is the depository spokesperson. She says as more families are feeling the squeeze of inflation, they're turning to community organizations for help. There is definitely an increased need um, in the community right now. Uh, what we're hearing from our partners is that um, uh, inflation and rising food prices are having a negative impact on the on the people that uh, we serve right now. And that what that means is that uh, people and families are struggling to um, to get food on the table. At the same time, the depository is also navigating the high costs for food purchases. We are spending more, actually twice as much as what we paid uh, two years ago. Well, we're adapting um, our strategies as much as we can. Some economists believe costs may start to ease, but how long it will take for consumers to feel real relief is still uncertain. And with volunteer numbers and donations taking a hit during the pandemic, Lee says, as always, Chicago's food bank needs all the help it can get to fight food insecurity. We need volunteers, we need donations. So volunteers um, all the time to help us to pack and repack food to get out to our neighbors, uh, donations to help us buy more food. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.